to work yeah. off of. And then you have recovery. I feel like a character needs to be able to space aerials, have recovery, a grab, and a jab to be like, if you look at those little qualities, that's like almost every top tier has a, one of those things. They can recover, they can grab, and they can space. Mm -hmm. so, so here you go. This would be a really good game right now. Yep. Palutena versus Mario. We're going to see some strings along. Oh, this game's going to be, I'd say, no longer than three minutes. Uh, this game, somebody, th these guys are going to go at it right now. Both of them go. going at each other. Mario does have a history of struggling against Palutena due to how much Palut can really uh, control the match and control the air. So, Jason going to do his best to find his way out of it. But speaking of that, he's getting quite a bit of percentage down. I don't have to find anything more. And here it comes. Here it comes. So, Mage doing a really good job controlling. Oh, so Mage is Paulo now. Okay. That's the other character. It was Inkling that was Paulo. So, that's pretty good. That's a, that's a good transition for him. Unable to find anything off of it. Try to use the platform to extend the combo, but you see that Jason is threatening with those backers and continuously using his flood, knowing that's going to force Mage to to go ahead and go for an approach option. But he knew that he misspaced the back air, so he went for an up air, immediately seeing the whiff. But Mage kind of struggling right now. 115% already on him. He's able to get away from that situation out of that corner. But Jason simply looking for an up smash. Shouldn't kill at this percent, but he's doing his best. Yeah. And here you go right now. Now, right now, either player, like, whoever's keeping the the pressure right now, they need to take the stock. Because that's what, that's what the match is going to be. They're just going to be juggling one another. person that juggle the best wins the matchup. And he did a really good job taking the stock. So Jason going to go in for the air dodge. He's able to get away from it. But Mage, he I knew the roll was coming, but didn't space it out correctly. Trying to get out of it. And here come the short hop up airs. A lot of air dodges Let's happening. Get out of it. He's back up to Demon right now. This is where he doesn't want to be. With, when Mario has rage, a lot of his combos work a lot earlier and a lot easier as well, too. Able to kill as yeah. well. He's trying to find his way around him. Great RAR, but Jason. 135%. He's going to not go for the re grab, thankfully, and that back door surely will kill him. Take it. 50 right now. He can. Uh, it's not too far out of his reach. He's at a good percent right now with Paul Tina can get a nice stream going on him right now. So that's a pretty unique thing about this matchup right now. I don't, like these ma these guys are always going to be in it as long as they have the same stock. I feel like it's always going to be an even game. And Mage needs to find some way out of it. He really needs a Nair string to happen, holding that shield out. And he actually went away knowing yes. that the back air was quick to follow. I know Paul Tina does get in this matchup, but I'm pretty sure there's wish time she just wished Mario was a little bit high, a taller. <laughs> Sometimes definitely wants to happen. Some mage he is able to get out of it. The action. Here we, uh, get mashed. Oh, okay. come with us, smash. Mm -hmm. He's able to read it out. Knew exactly what's happening. Jason doing such a good job controlling this match and that back throw, forcing him off stage. That's a yeah. poor decision from mage. Oh, he gets them with the classic pad Mario combo. Mm -hmm. Really good stuff by Jason. Really taking control. Mage needs to somehow find a way. Right, he needs to find a way. Draw him tomorrow, space him all, poke at him, hit him around, circle cap. Because he's losing the exchange game with him. Mm -hmm. And he needs to go for it, gets the side special as well, the back air misses, he goes for the up tilt as well, go. nothing. It seemed to be working out for Mage. There you go, he gets the ledge. Hasn't been, oh there you go. Hasn't been getting much off the ledge trap, he's been getting like a hit or two. If he could able to capitalize and get the stock. He went for it. They actually both went for a tomahawk grab, but unable to find anything in the back, back air. Game. Finally, finally calling out the fireball approach that Jason has been catching him with. But Mage needs to get a nair train working. That's what Palo's really known for. And there we there go. go. Finally, I think lands. he has his jump. Oh, he didn't know he took his jump, but he actually went for an upper instead. Wasn't confident that it was gonna hit. And here comes the combo. 44%. Yeah. He's catching out the yeah, air dodge. Is. So it's gonna be a close game with these two characters. Should be able to do a little bit more off of that one. Mario going to go in and shield it. Ow, yeah. this is a really close situation. Oh, yeah, this is now, this is scary now. Now, now Paul Tina is above the Mario. Mario can hit with the up air, up smash, up B. He's calling yeah. it out, knowing that he's going to go for an edge cancel teleport. So Mage, Ooh, he gets catch, called oh. out by the up smash. Caught him right before the back air came out. Really, really good stuff by Jason. Really impressive stuff by Jason in this matchup. He's able to perform super well against. Stopping, okay, it was three three minutes and 55. Oh, it's 55 seconds off. Not too longer than expected. Mm -hmm. Jason stopping. Come back from Mage. Mario. Stick with the Mario, stick with the Paulo. Get the water, focus. Game number two.
Hopefully something different would happen for Mage on game number two. Definitely some missed opportunities happening. And see if that Jason was able to get the better of it. See, right now, see, Mage is gonna go ahead and he's like giving up so much control. I'm, I was expecting to see some aerials or something. But there we go, as I say that, he's able to get a little bit of a following, 48%, a great way to start the one, but he goes for another up tilt. Last time it missed and he did it once more, but here come the combos from Mario. Already so much, 69%. It's a real knocker. They go back and forth. They really hit each other every single time. That's why it's a really good, I don't mind watching these matchups because I know they're getting right to the point. <laughs> they're going to be hitting each other back and forth. Able to get so much off and he actually goes for the air dodge with the jab, catching him out. He does. He the, he get the edge? Oh, he doesn't get the edge. Mm -hmm, but he spaced it out oh, and actually backing. does kill him, so. I wonder if he was holding back, maybe? Could be a combination of some bad DI, but Jason already forced on the back, and then here comes Paola. If there's one thing she's very good at, oh. is running away with so much percent. 34 already, 47 as I speak. Misses the last aerial as well, but... Backer. Can he get another one? Oh. Major doing really well this game. Getting the last trapping. A lot of things he wasn't getting last time. Again, his normal roll get up. He has that ledge trap from the ledge. It's really an, good improvement by Mage. It's an entirely different Mage you're seeing right now. Tries to use the up smash to catch it out, but Jason is able to avoid it just in time. Even percent, but surely not even stock. You now that finally let him get from the ledge after tacking on about 60%. Just to find a way around it goes for a dash attack. That down air won't kill just yet. Jump down, so good move. Mage getting so much, getting such a big lead right now. Jason really struggling to fight a kill, looking for an up smash. He's showing his cards already. Yeah, it's it's relatively like, safe, oh, but. Really good stuff by Mage. Let's see if Jason can turn this around. As soon as get a couple, get an up smash, go into the next stock and get a real hard mark. He's baiting out the air dodges. He knows that Jason is panicking in these situations. He doesn't want all this percent getting on top of him. Great conversion off that fireball, 53% already on this Mario. And a yeah. great down tilt to catch it out, knowing he won't snap to ledge. But another missed opportunity. Paolo is at 158%. Jason, yeah. Jason's having a real hard time killing right now. I mean, that, that really shows like why this can be such a bad matchup for Mario. And he misses the tech on yeah. the platform, so he's going to eat more damage than he needs to. Because Mario, the higher the damage, Mario has to land a harder hit because none of his moves will come one to one. I mean, and especially when he's at 90% yeah. right now. Down throw back here should kill yeah. at this percent. Oh, wow. Money. Money, money, money. Down throw back here. I don't want to sit down. As I speak. Very good game by... Mage there. That was like two minutes, 30. These games are freezing by right now. Mm -hmm. It looked like an entirely different player right now is able to really exploit the fact that Jason doesn't have that range. And once yeah. he gets up at that lead, he's able to really exploit it to the fullest. Give him in disadvantage for as long as possible. Whoever kept the disadvantage the longest loses the game. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's able to do the best as he can. Moving on to game number three of this set back on the same stage as well. So hopefully Jason's got a different plan. He's able to really escape the fact that Paolo can get these Nair trains off. And as soon as they see that speak of the devil, 37% already. Yeah, got Paolo and Mario. I mean, the thing is, is that they both can get really elaborate combos, but Jason can't be missing those texts as well. And here come the back airs as well. Oh my God, that was a missed opportunity. Was able to catch him out for a little more damage. And these back airs from Mage. Causing some huge problems. He went for the grab. He yeah, knew that it down time approach. He's uh, just has to try to find a hard time trying to approach. What I like him, uh, since he stepped out in the last game, I remember, since Mage stepped out his fireball approach with the back air for the stock, it seemed like he's intimidated Jason to start approaching with the fireball now. So that's one thing we haven't even seen where Jason's doing a full hop fireball approach. And maybe he should try to mix it up a little bit. Oh, here we go gets the B. Oh no way! Great DI okay. from Mage was able to escape that scenario. He was able to re he was able to recognize the mix up with the cross up that was really well. He's able to get away himself from that situation, but Jason's got to be careful. He's, he is at that certain percent, and the backer surely will kill him. Look at this baiting out. Mage is going ahead and going for a lot of empty hops, baiting out these options from Jason, and no air dodge available. But he's going to be a okay so far. Can't keep but going for those fireballs, Mage. From the ledge, yeah. He has to do the. I would like to see him doing more in neutral, but not from the ledge, because Mage isn't falling for it. And he's not falling for it. He's simply just using the backer to tank through it. I like that usage of it. That was really fun, like that. Using the cape to ledge jump. I Let's saw. See. Yeah, D Wizzy was talking about it previously, saying that he did, was able to do that to ledge jump, but Ooh, hopefully he's able to get away. 
Now you can just net one up smash for calling out the Mage is definitely, he's starting to really see some, we're seeing some life in him and it seems that Jason needs to be the one who needs to step up to the blade. Game number two looked all in Mage's favor and right now I love this play from Mage. He's gonna simply just play back knowing that Jason with that lackluster range needs to approach him and he goes for the grab but once again missing out that back air from Mage was doing so much work oh, and he tries to follow maybe up. Maybe the would have been nice. I think he had a little bit low percent but that was still a good read nonetheless. Ooh, that was a low, that back girl was so low. He's able to kick that out the very last minute. Yep. Oh, here we get that, that platform reads. That's the miss tech that we're seeing continuously from Jason, and it's costing him these percents and these stage controls. And previously it led him to losing his stock, so he's got to be careful. Because remember, Mage is one mix up away from killing him. Just needs, and here comes the Nair once more. Nair out of shield is such a strong option, especially the fact that it's one of the fastest options in this game. And once again, he gets clipped out by the up special. Jason. There you go. He has the rage for the combos. So let's see if he can rack him up right now. Mage is doing really good keeping him out with the, the article. An auto radical. Not going to be needed here. Mage went for a edge guard attempt. Went for a hard read. I would like to see him stay on the ledge and get an F tilt, up tilt. But why, why do that when you can just go in and safely use your fair on that shield and condition Ooh, them? He goes for the explosive explosive flame on him to take anything so far. He's got to get something down. Here comes the combos. Hopefully, Jason can get Ooh. something started, but the fair from Mage. Overextended with the four there. Get him with the, oh, I can't even use that stack. Wasn't close enough. The Nair's still not. One more Nair. I think about good. Oh, what? What if Jason I thought he had a jump? This input. Yeah. Survive? Mage needs to be careful. I do like the fact he's edge canceling his teleports, but Jason knows when he's teleporting at that far of an angle, he in. knows that it's gonna happen. He's able to get away with it for now. 95%. He's not too close from dying, but a well placed edge smash go. might be able to do some work, but he's able to back here would have worked right there, down to a back here. With Mario. Oh, oh. he gets the up smash. That was really Miss, uh, I think he might have fast fall his back here to that fast. He gets the Nair strings. Yeah, just like that, he stops it out. This is a really intense game right now. Yeah, this is the yeah, last. Back-to-back -back game threes. These guys, the first few games, we've seen them go like four, four minutes, three minutes. This game, these guys are really going to distance right now. You can really see the patience by both players. Also we've seen by Mage. Getting the fair string across the stage. Oh Ooh, my god, he tilted the wrong way, and Jason, he should know. Oh, he, gets, he makes up for the misinput on the combo. Mm -hmm. Same to get a little bit of percent down right now, 69% like already game. on Mage. So he's doing a good job, but Jason's got him careful. He's at the percent disadvantage, and a great yeah. pivot grab showing exactly what Palo's range on, his, on her grab is made of. And here it comes, he's able to nice escape shot. it. He's off. Uh, it's something that's kind of scary right now. He's getting at that percent where like a up smash can kill Mario at the moment. Back here, let's trap. Mage. Just going for a simple side B. And he went for the hard read on the roll. He knew it was coming, but Jason thankfully delayed his attempt. And he's got to be careful because Mage one. Mage really in control right now. One well placed back air or up air from Paolo will spell the end for Jason. He's able to find his way out of it. He's playing a little bit defensive right now. He's a little bit scared that dash tag actually was able enough to take get him. it. Good stuff. Oh, good stuff by both players. Really, really good game. Major take it. Game three over Jason. Catching his backer with dash attack. Yeah. Having him die at 141. Playing so well. Mage 